Welcome back, everybody. You know, each month here on the Plus Side of Nashville, we've been getting a preview of one or more of the phenomenal Broadway shows that are coming to the stage at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. And this month, we're shining the spotlight on the musical Pippin. Let's take a look. Incredible. And joining me to tell us more about Pippin is Christy Dortch, who's the Senior Vice President of Programming and Curation for TPAC. Welcome, Christy. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited about this <laughs> show coming to Nashville. As I was telling you right before we went on the air, it just I've heard incredible things about it. It's a revival of a show that was 40 years ago phenomenal, and it's, it's even better now, don't you think? It, it is, absolutely. The um, reimagining of the show is just... I almost lose words to be able to describe. Yeah. It, it's magnificent. It catches your breath. It, it's, you never quite know what's going to happen next because Diane Paulus did such a unique revisitation to this show. And um, even though it's still got the Fosse-esque choreography in it, um, it's a whole new turn with adding the Cirque and the circus style of, yes. of choreography to it. And I think you saw in that, that clip that we just showed you there, it's been described as breathtaking acrobatics. Mm -hmm. For people who may not be familiar with the story of Pippin, tell us about it. Okay, so Pippin is basically, uh, at its root, the story of a young man who is do going through the self-discovery period. Uh, it's the same story I think most of us go through, which is trying to be what your parents want you to be and do things that will make them proud and then realizing that's not really your journey and finding your next journey. And for Pippin, in this particular story, he has uh, sort of the devil on his shoulder and the lead player who's trying to lead him down the path that's more advantageous to her. Uh -huh. So uh, it's a neat little twist to the show that, um, yeah. you know, puts you back into discovering who you are, not who other people want you to be. Well, so many elements to this show, from the choreography to the vocals, the, uh, the acrobatics are what people are describing as just breathtaking. Talk a little bit about the singing. The lead singer, uh, the lead player, I understand, was Someone that folks may remember from The Voice. Right. Um, it's uh, Sasha Allen. She yeah. was in the fourth season of The Voice. She was one of the finalists. Um, and just the role of lead player is a very demanding role. And when you think that that role was played in 1972 by Ben Vereen. Yes. And now a young lady's taking over the role. I it's know. a very challenging role. And not only does it have to be a very strong singer, it has to be a very strong dancer. Yeah. Um, and it's just... It's a great role. It's yeah. one of those roles that you're always like, ooh, I'd like to do that. I know. <laughs> so I've, I've heard the acrobatics described as circus-like, and from the clip I can see that it, that is definitely the case. Does the Tennessee Performing Arts Center have to do anything special when something of that magnitude, all sorts of juggling and all sorts of acrobatics goes on their stage? Yeah, it's, it's sort of the magic behind everything. And with something like this where you're dealing with Cirque style, on stage, which is basically a very strong acrobatic um, uh, trapeze sort of, yeah. everything's going around. There's a whole lot that has to happen behind the scenes and above you to support these actors and make sure that they're safe. And there's a lot of steel, there's a lot of um, rigging, there's a whole lot of people who are making sure that people are safe. Yeah. There's a great deal more, because we're really creating a big top on the stage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Well, and I understand too, Chrissy, someone uh, had written that you should not miss the opening of the show. But what yeah. would you say to that? Um, I would say to that that you really shouldn't miss any part of the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the opening is beautiful and stunning, but there are so many moments in the show that you will be most unhappy if you walk out at that moment. So okay. wait until intermission to take your break and then come back and make sure you're there till the end. Okay, sounds good. What would you say is a good age range for this particular show? You know, everybody's a little bit different. Um, because this story is about self-discovery, I would think, you know, the teens and up would be good. Yeah. But, you know, everybody's at a different point in their life. So I, I trust that parents and families will know what's appropriate. It's a wonderful show. I mean, the music was written by Stephen Swartz uh, of Wicked. Yeah. And it's, it's just, it's a great story. Okay. 
Okay. Um, but you know, you're talking about circus performers, and you saw from the lead-in that the you know the the yeah. costumes are tight and beautiful and bright <laughs> and fabulous, and yeah. some people are, might not be uncomfortable That's with that. Very you know. true. Well, that is coming to Nashville uh, here at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center on March 10th Correct. through the 15th. It is a one-week engagement only, limited here. Thank you so much for coming and telling us all about Pippin Christie. I can't wait. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I want to also thank my earlier guests for being here, Randall Lance from the Nashville Lawn and Garden Show, Caroline Vincent from the Nashville Metro Arts Commission, and I also want to thank you for watching. I'm Tawanda Coleman, and I'll see you next time on the Plus Side of Nashville.